The next Overwatch 2 support hero hails from Peru. But the big question is, what are her abilities? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to break down everything we know so far about the next hero coming to Overwatch 2. Now, in typical Blizzard fashion, the Season 5 trailer kicks off to show us all of the stuff coming out for Season 5, and then they immediately drop the trailer for Season 6 because that's where they're putting all of their eggs in the Season 6 basket, hoping people come flocking back for the PvE. Anyway, they're also releasing a new hero, and if we look at the roadmap for Season 6, we see this. It says New Support Hero, and it's got the support icon. Well, we've seen this before. This is the Antarctic Peninsula map. Now, I can't actually show you the map because it's been disabled. There is a massive bug with this map, which basically means you can crash the entire server and everyone gets disconnected. So Blizzard have disabled the map. So we've had to go to Google and find this screenshot. Now, what we can see here are two posters. The poster on the right is the Peru poster, which is an exact match for the Season 6 roadmap. So that is how we're getting Peru and a Peruvian hero and obviously the visuals of the hero which we'll get onto in a second very heavily inca inspired but before we get on to the next hero let's talk about that other poster fly to samoa i don't think this is any kind of coincidence that this is here this is malga it's gotta be malga malga looks samoan look at the man he's an absolute beast he is part of talon he's one of talon's heavy tank assault units here he is with Batiste. This is taken from a Batiste short story. And yeah, Malga, for a while we've been hoping he would be put into the game. But it looks like Blizzard might be giving us a little bit of a little bit of a nudge here, saying, hey, guess what? We've got a Peruvian hero coming. But also, what's this? A Samoan hero. So yeah, I would probably bet some decent money on Malga being the next hero after we get this Peruvian hero. Now, instead of me messing around in Photoshop trying to get as much detail out of the teaser reveal that Blizzard actually gave us at the end of the Invasion trailer, I want to show you guys this because this is incredible work. It is from Martin Capoli over on Twitter. There is a link to the tweet in the video description below. And this rendition of the character is fantastic. He brings out all of the details there and i think this looks really really cool this gives you a very clear idea of the direction they're going for with the hero it is an inca inspired hero and as you can see he asked the questions maybe sun deity maybe some form of sun healing what about these inca weapons well what we're going to do now is deep dive into this and try and work out the abilities and also or i guess not the specific abilities but the way the the abilities could be used for this hero and just the overall sort of design of the hero Let, let's do it let's break it down i think the first place to start is inca weaponry now the incas are very unique when it comes to military weapons and armor notably they didn't have access to iron so they're basically using bronze copper and mainly leather and wood as weaponry and armor now if we look at this image here you can see a bunch of different things bits of armor bits of shields and stuff but there's two things here that i want you guys to take notice of that is the sable and also the espada those are weapons now it looks to me like this peruvian hero is holding a futuristic espada this is also a different look at some other um, peruvian inca style weaponry and what is interesting with this weapon it's a wooden sword that's actually got bits of um stone on it uh, which, which again shows their lack of technology at the time they didn't have iron available to them so a lot of it was based on hardwood with basically spiky things they could stick into it and that's what they would bash you with but i don't think it's this weapon though i'm pretty sure it's an espada so let's deep dive into some information on inca weapons and armor from wikipedia because i think this is actually quite interesting so this again goes on to say the Incas had no iron or steel and their weapons were not much more effective than those of their opponents. So they often defeated opponents by sheer force of numbers or else by persuading them to surrender beforehand by offering generous terms. Inca weaponry included hardwood spears launched using throwers, arrows, javelins, slings, the bolus, clubs and maces with star-shaped heads made of copper or bronze. Rolling rocks downhill onto the enemy was a common strategy, taking advantage of the hilly terrain. 
Fighting was sometimes accompanied by drums and trumpets made of wood, shell or bone, armour included, helmets made of wood, cane or animal skin, often lined with copper or bronze, some were adorned with feathers, round or square shields made from wood or hide, cloth tunics padded with cotton and small wooden planks to protect the spine, ceremonial metal breastplates of copper, silver and gold have been found in burial sites, some of which may have also been used in battle. Now, I don't think this character looks like an Inca warrior. I think this is actually a sun priestess to the sun god. This is Inti. And now, Inti is the ancient Inca sun god. He is revered as the national patron of the Inca state. Although most consider Inti the sun god, he is more appropriately viewed as a cluster of solar aspects since the Inca divided his identity according to the stages of the sun. The reason why we're going down this path with the hero, it, it's pretty simple. Look at these visuals again. It's the sun. It's the hero jumping up in front of the sun. The sun is going off, or it's some sort of flare which is going off. This again leads down the path of this hero being some sort of inti priest or sun priestess who is using the sunlight as a way to distract confused enemies, but also potentially heal them with healing sun rays maybe um i think that's what we're going for but also the weapon i think is a melee weapon which could be really interesting a support with a melee weapon we've only got one in the game at the moment and that's brick so this could be really really interesting if indeed it is a melee weapon but it would lead down that path given it is a sword it, it is for close range combat it's not a ranged weapon but you know it could be There's nothing stops them let sunlight energy fire out of the end of this sword is there <laughs> now the sun priests or priestesses are referred to as the willak umu these were high priests of the sun of the inca empire they were usually the brothers of the sapa inca the ruler of the empire and most likely the second most powerful person in the entire empire this office in some accounts was created during the reign of pachacuti by the end of the empire the high priest was also the field marshal in war for the emperor. The sun god in Inca mythology was Inti, and the most important god amongst the pantheon of the Inca people. In part, that the most powerful priest in the empire was the high priest for the most revered god. So again, this leans into the idea of this support is maybe a warrior priest. She's got uh, an espada as her close range weapon. She's got the power of the sun because she's possibly a Willakumu, which is a priestess of the sun. She is also a general, a field marshal. So she's got combat experience. Would again make sense being a combat field healer, field medic, maybe you could say. So where does this leave us? Well, I think this support hero is going to have a melee primary fire. I think it's going to have a flashbang ability. I think it's going to have the ability to heal with sunlight somehow. Whether that's a beam, it fires out of its sword, which you have to manually move across to heal people. Um, I don't think it'll have a lock-on heal, because I think they've done too much of that in the game already. But we'll have to wait and see. I think it's probably going to have high mobility, just because it, it kind of looks like it's got high mobility. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I think it is an Inca sun priestess of the future. Very interesting stuff. Also... Like I said earlier on in the video, yeah, I think they're teasing Mauga as well with that Samoa poster. <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you for listening and watching the video. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And as ever, I've been Stylosa, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you soon.